Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and this is your intimate extended bonus reading. So please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are feeling the resonance within this reading, I would love to hear from you in the comments. And if not, you can always check my channel and your other Zodiac placements for messages you need to hear. So as always, you guys, most importantly, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment, share the video, and be sure that your notifications are turned on to all. That way you can make sure YouTube lets you know when I post a new video, okay? So not to be redundant, y'all know I've been talking about this for a little while, about YouTube making changes, but I found out some information from another channel that I watch, um, Water and Fire Tarot, and she mentioned that... There have been a lot of people who have had their notifications turned back to default when the YouTube changes happened. So it's not that they turned off your notifications per se, they just set it to the default, which I don't even know what that is. I feel like the default should be all unless you want to specifically, you know, whatever. Anyways, not to get too far into it, but as long as you guys make sure, not just for my channel, I'm sure you guys watch plenty of other channels as well. Make sure you go into all of your subscriptions, make sure you're still subscribed and that your notifications are turned on to all. Okay. So anywho, you, you guys already know, I'm always talking to y'all the most because Capricorns, you're not just number one in the charts. You're number one in my heart okay and of course i'm not surprised you got your bonus reading again you literally get it every season um and i'm not even mad about it i love it so so thank you guys for being so um so loyal to my channel for continuing to follow me a lot of you are ogs from the beginning of time thank you for for the subscriptions the likes the views comments and of course to my members of the spicy subscriber society which a lot of you capricorns are are. I love you. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Thanks for buying readings and making donations and tipping me generously. It really means the world. So uh, speaking of, I am still running my 50% discount on all private readings until the end of March as a celebratory sale for my three-year anniversary on YouTube, which I just reached a few days ago. And uh, so yeah, if you're wanting to book a reading, um, I actually had someone purchase a reading that they want for another month in the future just to get the sale price which I'm cool with um, and also you guys I am going to be starting a new thing okay I'll post about it formally but I'm gonna do a referral program because I know that a lot of you are repetitive clients which I want to reward you guys in some way. So if you guys are wanting to refer someone to get a reading, then you will get $5 off of your next reading, okay? So take that and put it in your pipe and smoke it. Um, because honestly, that is something I feel is a good way to give back to you guys that are purchasing readings on the regular because you guys have no idea how much you are supporting me and my children and I just I love you like so very much so anyways if you're new to the channel or like I said if you're an OG just be sure to check the description box below for all of my updated links as I did recently rebrand so all of my social media links website email payment app information has been changed but it's all down there okay everything you need to book a reading with me is down there just be sure to send me an email or a direct message when you buy a reading that way I can make sure I can get in touch with you and send you your link okay I'm actually still waiting on somebody hoping that they will send me an email because they did not leave a way for me to contact them they only sent the payment so um so yes please if that is you know that I have not forgotten about you I'm just waiting to hear from you okay so anyways you guys um if you're not wanting to support the channel in any of those ways and you want to support the channel by being a member. Like I said, the Spicy Subscriber Society is only a click away. And if you like the intimate extended readings that I do here on the channel, then that that members area is going to be right up your alley, okay? Because we like to keep it saucy up in there. So speaking of keeping it saucy, now that we're already almost five minutes in and I've just been jabbering my jaws, um, 
let's talk about the fact that we're going to be using the naughty cards today, okay? So if you are under age, it is time for you to click off and have a blessed day in the Lord. Obviously, we do not want any childhood trauma happening here today. So please exit stage left if that is you. And for those of you who like your reading spicy, let's get it going, okay? What does spirit want you to know in regards to your connection with your person of interest? Keep in mind, perspectives are reversible, okay? However, you are watching this reading and for whoever you're watching it for just keep in mind that those things can be swapped okay lax be it all right so truth interesting first card out is Aquarius energy number 22 so I feel like even though this is not a dream card even though it doesn't say the word dreams I feel the energy of dreams here because you know they're both they both have their eyes closed they're holding hands though, okay? But they look like they're sleeping and she's laying this coin on his chest, okay? So I think that the truth of the matter is here, Capricorn, that you and your person are both invested in one another. Um, maybe for some of you, you are connecting in dreams, connecting telepathically in the 5D. Um, and that's sort of like that's sort of like your getaway or your escape. Oh, that's sad. So for someone, they have to escape to their dreams to be able to connect with you. And, you know, maybe that's how you or this person are able to find out the truth about what's really going on. Um, because a lot can be revealed in the 5D, right? I have found a lot of times that things have been revealed to me in my dreams, um, and, and, you know, if you're looking to do that, if you're looking for things to be revealed, I suggest going to sleep with, um, I would say like a moonstone, right? A moonstone on your forehead. Before you go to sleep, you ask a specific question and you ask to remember your dream. Um, I also like to sleep with other things like celestite and amethyst and labradorite and clear quartz and selenite, um, kunzite. <laughs> Y'all are probably like, damn girl, how many crystals you got in that bed of yours? Um, probably about 10 and they're all under my pillow. <laughs> So anyways, you guys, let's see what else Spirit wants you to know. Which, like, honestly, you guys, you already know I have a spiritual shop. I do sell crystals. So if you are ever looking for certain crystals, I have tons of them in my shop for you. Um, I need to probably go ahead and take some time to list the properties and what each crystal does in the description box of my website. But... <sighs> Alas, I do not have an assistant, so and I only have so much time in a day. So yes, the theory is I would do that, right? But y'all can also look it up if there's ever a crystal in my shop that you're curious about. Um, you can definitely look on Pinterest or Google, and they usually have the deets. So the other card here is temptation. Oh my God. So now we have Libra energy, okay? Temptation, the number 13, make me think of death, Scorpio also. So you can see here we have this, they look like a nice couple, right? Oh, everything looks perfect and well together. And now you got a girl over here pulling him away and getting his attention, okay? So, <clears throat> you know, the fact of the matter is this woman's pregnant, okay? And he's like trying to go off with this woman here. And then we have this energy kind of pulling him away from that, okay, distracting him, tempting him. So that could be an issue here for some of you out there, right? You could be the temptation. Um, you could be the energy that is distracting your person from something else, perhaps, that they're committed to. Um, but ultimately, regardless of the picture that's shown here, you know, art can be interpreted in millions of different ways. I just feel ultimately like this reminds me a lot of the Six of Cups energy, or excuse me, Six of Pentacles, because we have these two baskets here of cherries. One is bigger, one is smaller. So it reminds me of that breadcrumbing vibe, okay? So if you and your person are in a third party situation, then I think that your person could be struggling between trying to balance that energy right now, okay? Um, not that I condone those sort of situations, but I mean, 
we're not children, obviously. These these things happen, okay? And sometimes you're on one side of the spectrum and sometimes you're on the other. And it's just one of those things in life, okay? Triangulation and third-party situations. So, you know, however this plays out in your personal situation, I, I feel that your person is the one that is being tempted here, okay? So for some of them, they could be tempted by a karmic partner right now, depending on what's going on, okay? What else do we need to see? Either way, the Libra energy here is suggesting that things need to be balanced. Um, now we have the number 16, awareness, Scorpio energy. I just said that that also reminded me of Scorpio. But the number 16 is the tower energy as well. So, um, you know, she's sitting here looking unbothered. She's like got her hand in the air like, and so... Like, she doesn't care, okay? And this man behind her looks like he is putting a bunt cake crown on her head. I mean, that's just what it looks like. Maybe it's an old-fashioned camera. I think somebody said that to me one time. I forget. But regardless, I feel like maybe your person is experiencing some sort of awareness right now, going through a shocking tower moment in their life. But, um... This devil may care energy, this like, uh, who cares vibe here. This, this woman reminds me of this woman over here. It's literally the same dress, same hair. So whoever this woman is, I have a feeling that there's been a change, a change of, of energy here. It's like, maybe for some of you, you were the distraction at first. Maybe you were, um, you were pulling attention away from someone else's thing, whatever that thing is. But I think now things are shifting and that could be causing the tower moment. All right. So maybe the, the fact is, is that you're actually the one pulling away and your person is still distracted by you and your energy. OK, so then that's exactly the face. It's like, OK, and and what am I supposed to do about that? Right. So for those of you who feel like you've sort of pulled your energy away from your person um, or you've just kind of stopped trying to to get your person to give back to you. I think your person is starting to realize that the energy is changing here, okay? Um, and then look at this. We have protection at the bottom of the deck, which is the number 15, same energy, Scorpio, but now we're talking about the devil. So I think really, again, those of you who are resonating with the whole pulling away vibe, it's because you are trying to protect yourself from from anyone or anything that would that would make you feel less than or that would not treat you as if you're worthy or would put you in a third party situation. You're protecting yourself from that. Now, um, for some of you though, again, this could be reversed and you and your person could be trying to make things work. And then there's a karmic energy that keeps coming in and trying to pull your person away from the things that you guys have built. Okay. So whatever side of the third party energy you're on, on somebody here is trying to protect themselves okay for some of you this is someone trying to protect the connection so so yeah scorpionic energy a lot of that's popping up suggesting death and rebirth happening here so behind the scenes things are definitely changing and transforming okay so i'm going to grab one more card from this deck and then we're going to move on to the tarot okay Actually, that was a lie because one actually fell out after I got the one. So we have two. Okay, we have power and we have discovery. Mm, interesting. The power of discovery. So not only are we having that awareness energy happening here, but someone is actually discovering something specific. Okay, this could be a major truth coming to light. Um, and, you know, this could even just be your person in the absence of you or in this energy shift, recognizing how powerful the connection between the two of you really is. Again, we have this blazing fire in the background, second card that's happening with. So I think that your person in your absence is discovering how strong the connection between the two of you is. Look at the red string tied around both of their ankles here and their wrist. Okay. So I, and North Node energy. So I think your person is starting to really see 
that you're on their path, okay? That you are a part of their their destiny, okay? You are the one that they're supposed to be with because they're still being pulled to you even though you guys are apart, okay? So even in distance, there's this energy keeping the connection alive and it's so powerful, okay? So let's move into the tarot and we're actually going to, um, I'm gonna read, I think, from, from this book, okay? Okay, so the first card out is the Three of Swords. So ultimately, Capricorn, if anything, if, if you take away anything from this reading, it's the fact that we just confirmed this is indeed a third party situation, okay? I mean, you really can't make this up at all. So I am definitely curious to see what the meaning is in this book, simply because it's not like the traditional tarot, okay? So I wanna know. I want to know. So the Three of Swords is pinching the magic of fire and salt. You must call attention to disagreements and incompatibilities before finding the courage to end a relationship that is now empty. So that could be exactly what's happening right now between you and your person, figuring out what you want that future to look like. Maybe you have had some disagreements with your person or there has been a period of separation or, you know, a slowness of communication. Maybe there have been some harsh aspects between you and this person as they are trying to figure their way out of a relationship that they are no longer having love for okay it says it's a relationship that's now empty this person needs to make sure that that being with you is the most viable option okay so again this person is discovering that that the connection is still so strong but obviously there are some things that still need to be ironed out okay you can see here in the image um there's like all these black candles lit ablaze this woman kind of looking over um it's just, I don't know, you can see this man, he obviously wants this woman here, but there's an interference, there's a third energy, there's a distraction. So uh, again, for some of you, this karmic energy could be causing distractions to prevent this person from feeling secure about ending the relationship. Um, you know, and karmic partners will be doing the most out in these streets, okay? They will be telling lies left and right or saying anything they can, doing anything they can to hold on to somebody that doesn't love them, which I think is really sad, okay? So let's move on. Anything else we need to see overall? Overall, what's the energy here that we need to see? So we have the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So what did that text say? A relationship that is now empty, okay? Finding the courage to leave a relationship that's now empty. Literally, the cards are being spelled out, okay? This card is a card of courage and perseverance. Moving on even though there is so much baggage, so much hurt, so much pain. The fool in the background of the card basically suggesting it's time for a new adventure. It's time to keep it pushing. It's time to claim what it is that you're passionate about because whatever this is, it's been long gone, okay? And for some of you, this person that you're connected with experienced a massive betrayal in the previous relationship that they're ready to, to leave, okay? So I think that something about this person, this karmic energy they left your person feeling at rock bottom. And so when, you know, it's like they left this person with nothing. Um, they cut it all away and they could have even, you know, cheated on your person behind their back. Um, you see the red candle and the flame is blown out. All right. Red candle symbolizes passion. So there's clearly no passion here left in the relationship. It's over. Okay. It's been over. Uh, and I love that there's a goat here. <laughs> in the nine of wands, okay, symbolizing your energy. So yes, I, I do still want to keep reading to you guys from this energy here. So the 10 of swords says it's squeezing the magic of the tears. Even pain can be transformed into power. 
You mustn't flee from emotions, but rather use them to find the true essence of our desires. Yeah, so, okay, the the adjective of squeezing, okay, um, why did I say adjective? Squeezing is a verb. So, the verb, oh, <laughs> thank God this isn't a Virgo video, y'all would have clicked off. So, the energy of squeezing is very symbolic here too. We were just talking about how the karmic energy could be cutting everything out or or making this person feel like they have nothing left. It's like they're squeezing the life out of this person, okay? So the energy of the nine of wands is caressing the magic of the three little birds. When a situation is suspended or blocked by doubt, you must hurry to resolve it because it cannot go on forever. So yeah, this person may have had doubts about you. They may have had doubts about leaving their previous relationship, but this person knows that they have the courage within them. They have the energy to persevere and push towards you, even though they have so much hurt still on their shoulders. All right. So let's talk about this person's thoughts and feelings in regards to you. So you have the temperance card. Okay. Number 14. So... I think that your person is aware that things are happening and changing behind the scenes. I think your person is also aware that the connection between the two of you is being divinely guided and protected. Um, and I also think that your person knows you're a very patient individual, okay? You're not going to try to be rushing them along or trying to make them do anything that would cause them to feel uncomfortable, right? You are a soulmate energy. We have these swans flying in the background. You're someone who is patient and calm and content. You're not someone who's going to be, you know, splashing these beakers of all these fluids in their face, okay? <laughs> so to go along with that, what is your person thinking and what are their feelings for you? So we've got, I have only option, excuse me, I have options, but I only want you. You will hear from me soon and you really have been by my side. I see that. I do cherish you for that. So once again, your person knows that you're loyal, that you're patient. Um, they, they are telling you that they want to see you. They don't want to wait anymore. Okay. So let's talk more about their feelings. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. So once again, your person knows that they need to walk away from what's not serving them before they can do this dance with you. But, you know, I think it's funny. We were talking about the energy of squeezing. And you can see this woman. She's like trying to pull away from him, but he's literally got his hand around her wrist. I mean, he's squeezing her wrist to death. And this is exactly what we were talking about. Like your person's karmic energy is desperately squeezing and clinging um, so that your person does not get away. So the Eight of Cups is bashfulness, the magic of the bundle of thistle. You must try to know your partner's character in spite of his reserve. Beneath the thorns, you find the right choice, an honest and sincere person. So again, we're talking about getting to know each other, um, getting through any differences and things like that before you can take this leap of faith together. And, you know, in this time of your person going through what they're going through, you are witnessing their character. You are witnessing the type of person they are. Um, and you see beneath the exterior of their situation, right? You see the warm, gooey center of your person. You see their potential, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind. For those of you who feel like you have this very strong connection with someone who is in a third party situation right now what you see is the potential for the future okay um this is something that your person needs to choose though of their own free will so even though you can see this even though you feel this energy between you and them your person still needs to make that choice in the physical so 
in their heart, they know that they need to walk away. They know they need to make the best choice for themselves. And they know that they're not going to have a balanced, soulful, sacred connection if they don't release all of this baggage, okay? All of this extra energy that's not doing anything for them. Oh, wow. So to clarify, we've got just wait on me. Please don't give up on me. So your person knows it's taking them a, a long time to to get to this final like destination where the two of you can have the energy of a new beginning. They don't want you to to leave. They don't want you to move on. Um, and we have the eight of wands. So yeah, you know, your person, we're just talking about passion and, and the power of the connection that you share. The eight of wands is passion. It's like communication back and forth. It's love at first sight, Cupid's arrows. I mean, it's instant connection. It's movement and it's free will movement. So I think also your person really wants to move things forward in the connection. I think they want to, they want to make things happen here. They want to communicate and they want to move things to the next level. So you can see with this ladder leading up to the trees and the wand halfway up the ladder, you know, we're hearing that song now. Uh, oh, we're halfway there. Oh, living on a prayer. Like this person is living on a prayer in their life right now, but they feel like they're halfway there with you. They feel like they are on their way to living this passionate life. Um, and they're feeling this, this energy of balance with you. Okay. We have these two birds, um, drinking from the same little bowl here. So, um, with that being said, to clarify that we've got the hermit. Okay. So kind of contradictory energy. It's like your person again, sees all of this. They know that the energy is there, but the passion in their life has been blown out. Okay. They're still dealing with the aftermath of the karmic situation. So this could be a big reason why your person is keeping to themselves right now, um, going into their little hermit phase and, and not saying anything because I think that your person's ego, I think that their energy has been depleted. I think in general they're not they're not feeling it okay they're not feeling it they don't want to communicate when they still feel so low um it's like i think your person their karmic has snuffed out any sort of like good energy that's in your person's life and they just have to kind of sit on the sidelines and and watch okay everyone else be happy watch everyone else be with their person watch everyone else move on and they're sort of in the shadows waiting for their turn okay um so with this energy we've got the hermit refusal okay retention of the seed slowing down your pace allows the magic to germinate when the psychic force is restrained its power is doubled okay so yeah you know again maybe your person feels that by keeping to themselves that that's going to help the process i mean it's going to help this um energy between the two of you to continue to grow but uh the eight of wands says savoring the magic of the swallows, pleasure in and of itself, is like the essence of springtime. Savoring eroticism as a pastime allows you some breathing room. So yeah, you know, I think that's exactly what your person wants to do, right? They want to savor you. They want to take their time with you. They want to experience this passion um, in a way where the two of you can also be free, okay? They don't want some secret third party scandalous situation. No, your person knows what they need to do. They know they need to tie up these loose ends before they can have a new beginning with you. So let's see what their likely actions are moving forward. Mm. So we have the King of Wands, interesting. So the King of Wands with their their power and their courage and their their strength, right? You can see he's holding her. They're embracing. It's more about the intimacy than anything else. But the King of Wands takes action. They take control of the situation. Sometimes they can be a little overbearing, right? But the King of Wands, they don't leave anything to chance, okay? They go in the direction of their soul and... Um, 
and, and they live their, their passionate life. They don't take no for an answer, right? So your person is probably going to be heading your way um, and showing you that they feel this way for you, okay? They could come across it as a very sexual, sensual energy, but underneath all of that is the truth. This person desires this powerful, intimate connection with you, okay? Um, and that came out with a snap. Don't think because we don't talk, I don't want you because I do, okay? This person wants you like they want you. They want to be standing in the middle of the forest wearing boots and capes only, all right? That's how bad they want that ass. So let's see what the likely outcome is here since we know your person's going to be taking action. Okay, so... So you have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, and we also have the Two of Wands. So I feel like in the end, I think Spirit just wants you and this person to get out of your heads. Um, stop creating mental blocks or a mental prison, per se, making yourself feel like there's nothing you can do about your situation because that's not true, okay? The devil here in the background of this card, it's like the devil is a liar, okay? Devil is a liar. Don't let anyone or anything or that little voice in your head tell you that you're stuck here, okay? I think that's what's happening for this person. They could be coming out of that energy of feeling like a victim, feeling like there's nothing they can do to fix the situation, like they're going to get hurt, you're going to get hurt, everyone's going to get hurt. No, what's required is truth, okay? You see this sword right here? It's eight of swords. There's only one sword in the picture. One sword, Archangel Michael, sword of truth. This person knows the truth. They know that there's nothing stopping them. It's all in their mind. And not only that, but their mind is also clear enough to be thinking about the future. You can see these two canoodling under the table, okay, making plans and talking and chatting and you know, obviously it's intimate. The intimacy here is off the charts. So clearly you and your person are going to be making plans for the future. Um, you could even be traveling to see one another. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify this really quick. Anything else we need to see? Okay. So also what might be revealed in the end is that your person's not hiding the connection for the wrong reasons. Going back to what we said before about protection, a lot of you, your person has been protecting your energy and protecting the connections energy because of the karmic situation, trying to deal with that and figure out a way to put that to an end before dragging you into their, their shit show. Okay. So if anything, some of y'all might be thinking, Oh gosh, like when is the separation going to be over? When am I going to hear from my person? Like, no, nah. let that person take their time because the last thing you want is any drama. This person's actually doing you a favor by staying in no communication with you right now or by distancing themselves from you right now, okay? So they're not hiding the connection for the wrong reasons. So let's first and foremost, I want to read about the Eight of Swords. So scratching is the energy from that card, Magic of the Green Cloth. Green frees sensuality and allows the body to guide the spirit before the mind can guide the body. You cannot teach the flesh if it is not willing to learn from you. So yeah, you know, that could be symbolic too, okay? This person could have had like a scratching inside of their mind, okay? Having this itch that they couldn't really scratch, needing to figure out that it was all just in their mind. Um, you know, possibly your person could have some air placements um, or just be a really, um, be a real overthinker, okay? So the energy of scratching, the itch that can't be scratched, it's probably like some of y'all might need to take on that name formally, the itch that can't be scratched. So, <clears throat> 
Now we're talking about the two of wands, okay? Nearness, the magic of sliced bread, sharing every bite of food to unite with another person without losing yourself. So that could be another thing too, right? When y'all are planning the future together, y'all are talking things out, thinking things out, making sure that you are going over every last detail, okay? Um, sharing a meal metaphorically is like being open and comfortable enough with someone to to eat in front of them, okay? I know some of y'all may not have a problem doing that, but some people, you know, it kind of takes a while to get used to other people, um, and this might seem so trivial, like, why am I even talking about this? But I'm the type of person, like, I don't, <laughs> I get self-conscious because sometimes I can eat my food and, like, inhale it like a wildebeest. And, um, you know, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to scare people away. So, you know, it's almost like that first date energy when you're trying to be like, oh, you know, trying to eat and you dabbing your little mouth, the corners of your mouth with a napkin, trying to be all polite. And then like on the second date, you're acting like the fucking guy from White Chicks. <laughs> On the dinner date with Latrell. <laughs> if y'all haven't seen that movie, please just at least look up at the dinner date because it is hysterical. Um, but y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? I know I got off on a tangent, but sharing a meal is an intimate act, okay? And it might not seem that way, but it is. And that's kind of what the card is alluding to. Sharing a meal is metaphorical for like sharing a life, sharing your time with someone, making plans, having discussion, like, you know, meal time is often time where you make the plans, where you decide what's going to happen next, okay? So I do feel that you and your person are going to have a conversation about why there has been no communication. There could even be a reassuring energy from your person just telling you, like, just to be patient, right? Um, now, bottom of the deck, I'm sure you guys couldn't wait to see this card popping up, but it is the justice card. Okay. So finally we have this energy of justice popping up as a solidification or a confirmation that your person is working on balancing out their life. Okay. Um, as far as justice goes, this could be legal matters involving divorce, separation, and finances. Um, or this could just be a general balancing of the scales, okay? Um, this could be the truth coming out in a sense in regards to the karmic situation. These could be the conversations happening behind the scenes. Um, <clears throat> because your person is tired of giving to both connections. They just want to give to you, okay? So I want to see what Justice says as well. So Justice the card says, meeting the sword of power to obtain love, you must give something in exchange and pay the price for the errors of the past. So in order to be with you, Capricorn, your person needs to give up something in exchange and pay the price for their karma. Okay. So this is what's happening. Your person is paying the price of having to uh, give up, right? or release that part of their life. So let's go ahead and see what else. Is there anything we need to know about this external situation in regards to Capricorn's person? The clouds and the ship. So King of Wands here on this card and the Ten of Swords here. So once again, this is confirmation that your person, this relationship, this metaphorical ship that they've been traveling on, relationship for some of them, okay, it is over. The ship has sailed and I think your person is really focused right now on this justice, on gaining balance, on clearing away any confusion between the two of you. Your person doesn't want you to be confused about who they actually want, okay? They want you to know that the ship of the past has sailed, that they're ready to embark on a new adventure with you once the storm clears, okay? Okay. Um, <clears throat> now we're talking about things being revealed and the two cards at the bottom of the deck here are the moon with the energy of the eight of cups. I cannot. Oh my God. And then the letter, 
Okay, Seven of Swords. The truth is coming out about something, okay, that involves deceit or lies. So I think that, you know, your person could be communicating with the karmic partner, possibly explaining things to them, um, or just relaying information to you about why they acted deceitful towards you, why they turned their back on you, why they acted sneaky, why they put you in a third party, okay? This could be the very revelation that we are looking for. Your person admitting that they lied, that they did what they did, that they lied about you, okay? But underneath all of that, they had incredible, intense feelings for you that just grew more and more and more powerful. It's like the only thing that they could do at the end of the day is walk away from this other connection, okay? And and again, maybe they had to walk away from you and hide those feelings. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you got an actual letter or whatever explaining why your person has treated you the way they did or why they acted the way they did, okay? Underneath that, we also have the lady, the ace of swords, okay? So the truth is, Capricorn, that you are their lady, okay? <clears throat> now I'm thinking of Celine Dion, because I'm your lady. Like this person feels that connection with you. They know um, that you are their divine counterpart. You are someone who is worthy and someone who is going to show up for them and be there for them and be in a balanced connection with them. Um, you know, for some of you, you guys, you just saw the card that we saw earlier, right? <clears throat> you see the difference. You see the difference between this woman literally yanking this man away from this woman and this woman who's kind and patient and calm and mature, okay, who's spiritually awakened. That is what this person thinks of you, okay? That's the truth. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull some romance, or excuse me, some lovers oracles, not romance angels. I'm going to pull some lovers oracles and see what the advice is here. This could also be messages from your person, depending on the context, connotation of the cards. All right, so we've got three so far, four and five. So the first card is a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So yeah, I mean, your person definitely loves you. They're thinking of you. They're with you all the time. Okay. What else? Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Love that. secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on so you yeah, have again we're talking about you possibly pulling your energy away from this person if that is the case then your person it's because most likely your person acted like they didn't have feelings okay or that they didn't care about you as much as you cared about them this person has been keeping their feelings a secret okay we also have twin flames your passion ignites so for some of you, you might feel as if you're on that journey. And again, we were talking about passion igniting, instant connection, love at first sight. And finally, we have weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So that's for those of you that was resonating with the part of the reading where I said, let this person do what they need to do. And trust that this person is doing you a favor during this time of you waiting on them to figure it out okay because you would probably much rather wait for the storm to clear and the dust to settle rather than be dragged into a third party karmic situation um it's it, it's never good okay it's never good this person needs to handle their business and deal with their karma before you are are going to be there to start this new beginning all right Okay, so I've been more focused on money because I'm trying to build for myself. So that's another thing. Your person has probably been trying to gain balance financially, okay? I've been thinking about proposing to you. So your person obviously considers marriage. Um, I've thought about living together. So it's like your person's thinking about doing life with you, Um 
They want to marry you. They want to be with you. I have a lot of gratitude for you. So your person is very thankful as well. I think that they're aware that they probably wouldn't be where they are on their own spiritual journey if they hadn't met you. Okay, things are probably very different. Um, and I just saw 4444 on the clock. I want commitment with you, just not yet, okay? So again, they're admitting they want to be with you. They want to commit to you, but they still have some loose ends to tie up, okay? What else? All right, so the last three. I want to dedicate a song to you, okay? So your person um, probably likes connecting with music. So if there are lyrics or anything that stick out to you, then that is most likely a message from your person. I'm going to take action. I'm just planning the approach. Yes, okay? King of Wands energy once again. And you're so different, but that is why I love you. So, you know, your person knows you and them are probably from different worlds. But the fact is, the truth of the matter is that they love you, okay? You are their lady, okay? Or their man, right? Depending on who you are watching this reading. But you are their person and, and they know that, okay? And they're working on coming your direction. They just need to clear up some karma first. So... Hopefully this resonated with you guys. If it did, like I said, please like the video and engage down below in the comments. Um, other than that, Capricorn, I look forward to seeing you again in your earth sign element video. So be sure to, like I said, turn on those notifications to all. That way you can get that alert when I post those videos, okay? Um, other than that, you guys, I hope you stay safe out in them streets and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.